In this video, we're having a geometric sequence. Uh, I mean, two geometric sequences. Uh, with the first one having its first term a, its comma ratio r, and its sum to infinity is six. Uh, the second one is having its first term two a, its comma ratio r squared, and its sum to infinity seven. So what we want to do here is to find the value of a and r. First of all, we want to, you know, briefly interpret the information that are given to us by the exercise. The first GS, uh, GS stands for geometric sequence. The first GS has first term A, comma ratio R, and its sum to infinity, S sub infinity equals to 6. And the second uh, geometric sequence, first term 2A, common ratio r squared and sum to infinity s sub infinity equals to seven that's the interpretation of what we got in our exercise now before we continue let us take a look back at the you know the standard or general formula of a geometric sequence i mean the uh, the sum of the n terms of a geometric sequence which is given by a times one minus r to the power of n you know over 1 minus n and as we're talking about the sum uh, to infinity r to the power of n is going to go to 0 and we're going to have s sub infinity equals to a over 1 minus r as you can see here s sub infinity can be replaced in this case by 6 and in the second case by seven and that's what we're going to have here so we have in six in the first case equals to the first term is a over one minus the common ratio in the second geometric sequence according to our information we have in seven you know the sum to the infinity uh equals to 2a the first term over one minus r to the power two and the first equation here gives me by cross multiplying 6 times 1 minus r equals to a because it's like we're having a 1 here under 6 and the second one gives me 7 times 1 minus r to the power 2 equals to 2a as you can see here we're having kind of a system of equation here with two unknown you know two variables that we need to find but the thing is that we've already isolated a here so we can just you know take this a here six, 6 times 1 minus r and then replace it with its value in here then we can have the value of r and therefore replace in here too by substitution if you want okay and now out of the two equations as you can see here we replaced a here by this whole value in here so it's going to give us 7 that's what we got here together 7 times 1 minus r to the power 2 equals to 2 times 6 times 1 minus r all right and we also know that this one this one here 1 minus r squared is a perfect you know quadratic equation that we know so we would expand it and probably you know cancel it out with this other r here and this one is here so 12 it's given 12 so this gives me uh, 7 times 1 minus r times 1 plus r equals to 12 times 1 minus r as you can see the 1 minus r will cancel out here so i'm going to cancel out this one here okay so after canceling out the 1 minus r i can divide by 7 okay to isolate because i'm looking for r then that's going to give me a remaining uh, that the, on this side 1 plus r equal to 12 over 7 and then i can pass my i can pass one to the other side by you know, subtracting minus one on this side here and minus one on that other side now we having r equals to 12 over 7 minus 1. therefore we're going to have r our common ratio equals to 5 over 7 and that's the common ratio of this geometric sequence now that we've got the common ratio we can replace r either in this equation here or in this other one but as you can see, this is the easiest one. So I'm going to choose this one here. A equals to 6 times 1 minus R. And replace R here to find the value of A. We would then have A equals to 6 times 1 minus R. And R is 5 sevenths. So we're having 1 minus 5 
7th. And what we have here in the parenthesis is going to give us uh, 7 minus, minus 5 is 2 7th times 6. So that would give us A equals to 6 times 2 7th, what is equal to 12 7th. Therefore, we can say that the first term of our geometric sequence is A equal to 12 7th. So if you want to prove it, you can, you know, replace it in either this equation here or that one there, or even here, okay, and you're going to have 6 out and here 7 out, definitely. Okay, so thank you for watching again. Until next time, bye-bye.